So we're continuing our series looking at OHL team histories, and today we're going to look at the Guelph Storm. They may not have a long history in the Ontario Hockey League, but they have had an impact. Uh, the Guelph Storm, they joined the league in the 1991-92 season after relocating from Hamilton, the Dukes of Hamilton, 1989 to 1991, a very short-lived franchise at Cops Coliseum. The Dukes of Hamilton, the last team to host the Memorial Cup, but not playing it. Uh, the team uh, just not successful on the ice, so they uh, decided to have two other teams compete for the OHL. That would be Kitchener and Oshawa after they met in the OHL championship that year. And uh, really, the Dukes of Hamilton just not able to get anything really going and ended up moving to Guelph. And boy, oh boy, have they ever had some success. Before that, they were also the Toronto Marlboros, who have a deep history in junior hockey. Uh, they were in action from 1904 until 1989. So it's pretty amazing uh, when you look back at uh, the roots of this Guelph Storm organization. And I was wondering if the Storm name had anything uh, special to it, but apparently it was just the name of the team contest that was held when the team relocated to Guelph. But if you dig, your, dig a little deeper into the history of hockey in the city of Guelph, uh, they claim to have started the hat tr tradition in hockey, uh, the Biltmore Ma uh, Hat Company in Guelph, they sponsored the junior team in 1946, and they were known as the Guelph Bitmore Mad Hatters. Amazing name, by the way. They also did a throwback jersey a few years ago, the Guelph Storm. It's spot on. I kind of wish uh, those jerseys were kept as a third or maybe just bring back the Mad Hatters name in this look uh, because uh, they look sharp. But anyways, uh, legend has it. Uh, hats were thrown on the ice when a, a, a Guelph player scored a hat trick. And then uh, the player would get a brand new fedora from uh, the Biltmore Hat Company. So a little bit of a tidbit there for hockey history in the city of Guelph. But uh, it is uh, it is kind of neat when you look back on that. Uh, just wondering, okay, where did the hat tricks uh, tradition start? Well, Guelph claims to have started it. Although when you do do the research, a few other teams claim to have started the tradition. Uh, but, uh, you know, we'll, we'll go with Guelph for now, back in 1946. Uh, this is a Guelph Storm team, like I said. They've had so much success since relocating uh, to the city of Guelph. Their top 10 scorers all time. Jeff O'Neill leads the way. O-Dog, who's now obviously with uh, TSN. Uh, he had 120 goals, 209 assists, good for 329 points during his time as a member of the Guelph Storm. Second is Martin St-Pierre. He had 108 goals, 212 assists, 320 points. Todd Bertuzzi, third overall in franchise scoring, 116 goals, 164 assists, good for 280 points. Then you have Taylor Beck, 110 goals, 157 assists, 267 points. Kevin Dahlman, he is fifth in franchise history with a 69 goals, 191 assists, good for 260 points. Then you have Peter Holland, he is sixth with 103 goals, 155 assists, 258 points. Uh, seventh on the list is Todd Norman, 115 goals, 140 assists, 255 points. And then you have Daniel Paye, 116 goals, 131 assists, 247 points as a member of the Guelph Storm. And for Paye, it was uh, just announced that he's uh, joining the Niagara Ice Dogs as an assistant coach. So it's neat seeing uh, where these players end up going after their junior hockey days. And of course, Paye also winning a Stanley Cup with the Boston Bruins in 2011. Uh, ninth in, in uh, the points leading is Scott Kosmachuk, 120 goals, 126 assists, good for 246 points. And then wrapping up the top 10, Zach Mitchell, 102 goals, 141 assists, 243 points. So the history on this Guelph Storm team, uh, pretty deep. It's uh, pretty neat just to see the names that are in the top 10 overall for scoring. When you look at the goalies, top five wins, Chris Madden leads the way, 89 wins to his credit. And then you have Mark MacArthur, 73 wins. Justin Nichols, 72 wins. Garrett Sparks, he also had 71 wins. And then uh, Thomas McCallum, 68 wins during his time with the Guelph Storm. Now, they do have a few retired and honored numbers. Uh, first off, uh, number 18 of Paul Fenley has been retired. That was he was a player that had an on-ice fatality back in 1972. Uh, so uh, Fenley's uh, name and number in the rafters at the Sleeman Center. 
And then uh, 24 of uh, Ryan Cal- uh, Callahan, that's in the rafters, along with number 44 of Todd Bertuzzi. And uh, number 92, Jeff O'Neill, his number also been retired by the Guelph Storm organization. Uh, when you look at uh, the NHL, there's 68 members of the Guelph Storm who've gone on to play in the National Hockey League. So that's uh, a quite quite a good number considering this team joined the OHL in the 91-92 season. Looking at the playoffs, uh, let's go back to 2000. So we're going to start doing that with every team that has a history that dates back that far. Uh, in 2000, they lost in the first round of the Plymouth Whalers in six games. 2001, they lost to the Brampton Battalion in the first round in four games. But 2002, they were the hosts of the Memorial Cup that year. They ended up losing in the second round of the playoffs to the Windsor Spitfires in five. And ended up fourth uh, at the uh, Memorial Cup tournament. Uh, the Erie Otters, they ended up winning the OHL championship that year. Uh, and then in 2003, the Storm, they would go to the second round of the playoffs, ended up losing to Kitchener in six games. 2004, though, they would win the OHL championship over the Mississauga Ice Dogs. That was in four games. And then uh, the Kelowna Rockets, they were the host of the Memorial Cup that year. And the Storm placing fourth yet again in the Memorial Cup. Not able to get that success there uh, at the national tournament. 2005, this team would end up losing in the first round to London in four games. That was a juggernaut of a team, uh, the London Knights. 2006, the Guelph Storm went all the way to the Western Conference Final and again defeated by London in five games. 2007, they lost in the first round of Plymouth. That was in four games. 2008 was a second round defeat to the Sioux Greyhounds in five games. 2009, lost in the first round of Saginaw in four games. 2010, it was a first-round exit to London in five. 2011, again, first-round defeat, this time to Saginaw in six games. They were knocked out in the first round again, this time by Plymouth in 2012 in six games. And then Kitchener continues that streak as uh, they knocked them out in the first round in 2013 in five games. So uh, from 2007 to 2013, this Storm team not able to get out of the first round. But in 2014, they would win the OHL championship again this time against the North Bay Battalion. That was in five games, but then lost the Memorial Cup final to the Edmonton Oil Kings. That was the Memorial Cup when it was uh, hosted by the London Knights. So after that run, uh, the Guelph Storm, they would uh, go on and lose in the second round of the 2015 playoffs. That was to Sault Ste. Marie in four games. And then something that we really don't see much of with the Guelph Storm, they missed the playoffs. That was in 2016. So that's just the first time since 2000 that they missed the playoffs. They would miss the playoffs again in 2017. 2018, they returned to the postseason, losing in the first round of the Kitchener Rangers in six games. But then they win another OHL championship, this time in 2019 over the Ottawa 67s in six games. And uh, they would lose in the Memorial Cup semifinal to the Rouen Naranda Huskies. So this is a Guelph Storm team, three OHL championships since 2000. They also have the OHL championship in 1998. So this is a Guelph Storm team that uh, I think people tend to forget about as uh, being a team that's won so many championships, just like the London Knights. Uh, But uh, after that, of course, no season in 2020 or 2021. In 2022, Guelph knocked out in the first round of the Sioux in five games. They lost in the first round of Sarnia in six games in 2023. And this past season, they were swept by the Sioux Greyhounds in the first round um, in four games. So that's the playoff history for this Guelph Storm team. Very impressive that uh, they've only missed the playoffs twice by my count since 2000, which is remarkable. And then, like I said, three championships since then. Uh, So this is a a Guelph Storm team that has done quite well. Championships in 98, 2004, 2014, 2019, but they have yet to win a Memorial Cup in six appearances. So the Guelph Storm... uh, Due for a Memorial Cup win, you would think, but uh, still uh, quite remarkable what this franchise has been able to do uh, since arriving in the 91-92 season. So that's how I see it from the booth. Let me know in the comments section down below your thoughts on the Guelph Storm organization. If you made it this far, uh, don't forget to hit like and subscribe, and we'll talk to you again soon.